you have to like people. I always make the joke, I don't like people because I don't like what we do to each other. But I care about people. I want to make sure they're okay. That's why you guys are here, because you want to help people. We saw the juniors in action. We were actually studying some of the psychomotor skills for the EMR testing. Uh, they were practicing how to use a long board, how to do spinal immobilization with C-collar, put spider straps on a patient to immobilize them in case there was a spinal injury. We're learning how to hold C-spine, how to put the neck collar on, how to get them on the board and strap them up nice so they could be all safe. On the count of three on our head, we're going to roll him toward us. Okay. Slowly. One, two, three. Roll him up, bring him back, 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 back. Bring him past the point of plane. Instead of straight up and down, bring him back a little bit further. To lead, it felt kind of, it felt, it felt good really, because I know that I'm not the only one that has to go into the field doing this in real life. My friends do it too, so if we ever see each other out in the field, we get to help each other. Uh, in the class, it's, it's camaraderie, it's team building, because in the fire department, we rely on each other. You have to be able to communicate. You have to be able to talk to your patient to find out what's going on. Feel where his shoulder is. There's an empty hole. Right there. Feel where that hole is. Go ahead and come through the hole. To be the test dummy, it feel it's feel pretty good because like like I said, you get experience. So like he said, you could tell people like I've been through this before. I know how it feel. I try to teach these guys to show their community. No, I'm from here. This is why, like Baltimore City Fire Department, the mayor's office, things of that nature, they're really trying to get this youth initiative started. Because it's like not just one race that's inside the field, the medical field. It's important for people to have options in their medical care providers. Representation is very important for black people in the medical field because there's not a lot of black people in the medical field, especially in like ENT and nursing and, doc and being a doctor and all that. Us, being in, these, in this field is like very like powerful, I guess I would say. They're a tight group. They love to work together. Hands-on skills, they have a lot of fun. They were talked about stop the bleed. They were in here cheering each other on or because we use simulated blood, they were like, oh God, it's a mess. And, but it's fun for them. Mr. Casey impacted my, my life by like teaching me not respect, but like more respect and how to use different words in the field instead of give me your arm is can I please see your arm. He's really helping us learn more about ourselves and how we should act and all that. More like how to code switch I guess you could say it like that. So like if you have a bad attitude when you put on that uniform that bad attitude stays with your old clothes. So I want you to be honest with your patient and say I have been here I have been strapped down I know it sucks just bear with us. We're going to make it as quick as possible and as painless as possible. Some goals I have for myself after graduation is I want to go down south. I want to move down south. And I want to start immediately on taking my EMT college classes and all of that. And then once I finish them classes, I'm going to take the course and become an EMT, get my uniform, get my shoes, get everything ready so I can, you know, be a paramedic. Okay.